What are we even doing here? We're going to take a look at Crown Prince Wild Caught Sardines in Mustard. Cute box. There's a little picture. Uh-huh. They're saying they're a friend of the sea. I believe it. Okay. Sardines. Mustard. Water. Vinegar. Soybean oil. Corn flour. Turmeric. Salt. So, all this kind of stuff is in here. Kind of a plain can. Oh, we need it to go. We need to go away. Yeah, okay. Weird. Weird. So, um... What the heck is going on, man? First of all, these are not sprats. Most of the sardines and mustard I've had were sprats. These are pilchards. These are big old fish. And what's more is I see other stuff in here, but I don't see mustard. Maybe I kind of smell mustard. Yeah, okay, plenty of scales, that's okay. I guess we want to leave the skin on. Dude, I am kind of freaking not into this. This, I, I, you know, what kind of mustard is this? I don't know, I guess regular mustard can have this uh, color, but I, I don't know. It's like, it doesn't smell off, it just doesn't smell we're looking at the ins the insides. These are fine. These are like normal pilchards. I wonder if these are. I threw the box away. Are these Moroccan? Yeah, I didn't even read this. Our sardines are sustainably wild caught from the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Morocco. So yeah, yeah. We haven't done the Morocco episode yet, but um, you open up a can, you find pilchards. They're a little scaly. Nobody's bragging about them coming from Spain or France, or Portugal, probably Moroccan. Great, great, fine. I like Moroccan sardines. I eat them all week long. I don't know, man. Hey, super quick shout out for new Patreon people in Essential Mix. Don Bame and Chris Oakden. Thank you, wonderful folks. Now back to the show. Maybe this is a funny can or something. I swear when I first opened up, I was like, let's just turn the cameras off. Let's forget about it. Cause I didn't like the look of them. They taste all right, the fish are fine. These aren't very mustardy at all. Yeah, I mean, it's so, kind of kind of gross, right? Looking, I mean, I don't know. I wonder if you guys would be interested if I uh, if I got some some sardines, like some plain ones, and I made my own mustard sardines. You remember when I made the sardines in Tapatio? Like what if I did that with mustard? And so I'd have to find the mustard that I really like to eat. I like a really uh, snorty Dijon mustard, you know? I wanted to go up my nose crazy. If you told me to guess what flavor this was, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think I'd say mustard. I don't know what I would say, though. I'd, you know, the, the, the sauce is almost kind of, kind of creamy. I'm really not picking up any, like... 
vinegar. Is this a bum can? Somebody tell me, man. So I did look at Amazon's reviews of this product in search of lonely oldsters desperate to make a connection with other consumers and, yes, to feel seen, and I wasn't disappointed. Yeah, there were a few reviewers that found this can the way I did. So I don't think my can is a one in a million goof up. And to be fair, a lot of folks did seem to like them just fine. Maybe this is just the flavor that somebody was looking for, but anybody who already has a conception of what mustard sardines are like, they're not gonna want this. I don't think so. This is really underwhelming for me. I thought, I thought I'd have more to talk about, but this was just like, you know, just a plain old Moroccan pilchard in some weird, weird ass stuff. Mustard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.